According to the United Nations Children's Fund, one out of four girls in Nigeria have experienced sexual violence before the age of 18. Another survey shows that over 31.4% of girls had their first sexual encounter through rape. Sensitization walks, establishment of response centers, and dialogues are some of the ways the UB State government, in collaboration with the European Union, have been able to address the menace. The survivors are hiding their safe, they don't come out to report the case. But with desensitization, they are now coming out to report the case. That is why we are getting an increase at the report of the SDBB cases. The witnesses. Times, the state attorney general identifies earlier, delays in prosecution of offenders and stigmatization as impediments. The parents of the victim prevent the, the, the victims from coming to court to, to, to testify because of social stigma. It's a similar attestation in Adamawa State, where out of over 200 reported cases of sexual assault in the last two years, only eight have been taken to court. For this reason, the state government is establishing a facility for victims to ensure a standard documentation process for proper investigations and conviction of offenders. Let me use this opportunity to thank the initiators of this project. I also urge other organizations to learn from them. The initiative is a welcome measure to stop sexual assault. Women get beaten by their husbands and the rest. All these are gender-based violence that we see from time to time that actually will require medical attention. So this Hope Center is just a very, very good step at the right time in the right direction in order to bring succor to those that have survived such violence. Meanwhile, in Gombe State, adolescent girls and women are being exposed to increased reproductive health services and skills acquisition to help them adopt a healthier and better lifestyle. The initiative is in partnership with the Norwegian government and the United Nations Population Fund. The government of Gombe State and with uh, UNFPA and um, civil society partners to help increase uh, access to um, sexual and reproductive health uh, services for women and adolescents in Gombe State. We're targeting uh, adolescent girls um, across um, the Gombe State um, so that we can try to help them to be more empowered to get information on sexual and reproductive health and also for them to learn other aspects of um, information that can help to improve their overall well-being. Authorities in Gumbi, Adamawa and Yobe states are optimistic that their partnerships will yield positive results for women and girls to end sexual violence and ensure they are exposed to better options for a better future. Mm -hmm.